Google Workspace Tutorial for Beginners Getting Started with Your Small Business Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am going to be showing you around Google Workspace, how you can get started with Google Workspace and how you can use Google Workspace to run a successful business. So let's get started. First, what you have to do is you will simply go to workspace.google.com and you will land right here. If you do not have any idea about Google Workspace, well, Google Workspace is just like any other, you know, product productivity and collaboration tool provided by Google itself. So it is called Google Workspace and it is also known as G Suite. So what happens is we get all of the different tools such as, uh, you know, our document tool and our uh, meeting and Google Drive, our email. We can, you know, integrate every tool provided by Google and create our own productive workspace in order to run a small business or any other uh, you know business you want to run so how to get started with Google workspace you will simply click on get started right here now you don't have to create an account on Google workspace if you have a Google account if you are using Google then you can simply go ahead and sign up for a Google workspace with your Google account so you can see right here let's get started I have to add my business name right here uh, you will add your business name so for now let's go with how to global so I have added my business name right here then we have number of employees including you so if it's just you you will simply add right here if you have 2 to 9 10 to 99 and you know above the 300 you will simply add right here so for now let's go with 2 to 9 because I want to show you how you can create uh, your own Google workspace for your small business then you have to select your region and simply click on next Next. Now we have to add our contact info. I have to add my first name, last name and current email address. Now they're asking me if I have a business domain because what happens is we can actually get our own domain with Google Workspace. So it's really important uh, that you know you simply you know add a domain name if you already have a domain name for your business. If you need one then you will simply click right here that I need one. Uh, then you will simply click right here. So let's find a domain name for your business. So my business name is how to global and let's check if we will get a domain name for howtoglobal.com click right here and we're going to search for this one if it's available so right now howtoglobal.com is unavailable and howtoglobal.info and howto.global is also unavailable but the ones available are shown right here we have howtoglobal.net howtoglobal.org howtoglobal.media so you will find the pricing right here as well like you can get a domain name for $12 uh, per year and this is actually pretty amazing and this is how you get a domain name with your google workspace so once you have bought your domain name then you can simply get started with your google workspace now let me show you what are the different features we get in google workspace once you have signed up so if you want to go for admin console as well you can simply go right here and we can sign into our admin console from here as well so let me show you the different features we get within our you know google workspace so if i go to products right here then we will be able to check out we have gmail documents calendar let's go to see all apps so all the apps available on google such as google meet gmail chat google drive calendar all of these are available on google workspace as well because these are all provided by google so they help you you know add all of these different things such as your documents so when we are creating a space we can create our task and then we can schedule a meeting with google meet we can chat with google chat then we can add a due date with google calendar then we have the drive to upload uh, any file we want to and then we also have our gmail that helps us get our business email within our Google workspace. So that is how it works and that is how we can actually use any of these. If you want to check out the Gmail, you will simply click right here and it will open up the, you know, Gmail for your workspace. And if you already have a Gmail, then you don't have to sign up again. That is the best thing about Google workspace because what happens is we don't have to sign up for everything 
again and again because sometimes when we are using other you know social uh, platforms such as we're using other project managers so what happens is we have to sign up for different integrations such as if i'm using um, ClickUp and i want to add slack i will have to go ahead and make an account on slack and then integrate slack into my ClickUp. but with google workspace that does not happen because what is happening is that i am getting everything within my Google Workspace within my account that I have. So that becomes really easy for us to, uh, you know, kind of like use. And I personally use Google Workspace as well. When it comes to managing your small business, we will be getting a domain name, we will be getting a business email, and we will be getting a drive as well to upload our products and to upload any file we want to. Uh, we also get the Google Sheets for the data entry and all the things that we want to do. If you already use Google Sheets, you might have uh, know that how um, awesome Google Sheet is. We can actually organize our data and we can add anything we want to. It's a very, you know, secure and smart spreadsheet that is available on Google and we can use it within our Google Workspace. So these are the different things that will be available on Google Workspace. You simply get started with your Google Workspace. Once you have that, then you can simply go ahead and, uh, you know, use your Google Workspace. Now, Google Workspace is not completely free. There is a pricing plan. So let's check out the pricing for Google Workspace so you have an idea about the affordability of the platform. So you can see right here, we get a, a free trial, a 14-day trial for the Google Workspace. That is actually pretty good. So we have a business starter, which is $6 per user per month. Then we have a business standard, which is going to be $12 per user per month. And then we have a business plus, which is going to be $18 per user per month. And then we also have an enterprise, which is the custom plan with custom features and custom pricing, of course. So we get all of the features. Uh, let's just say with the starter, we are getting a custom and secure business email. We can add up to 100 participants uh, video meetings. Then we have 30 GB of cloud storage. We have standard support. And the storage, of course, increases with the $12. We get 2 TB cloud storage and then we get custom email of course but when we you know move to the business plus then we have 5 tb of cloud storage we have 500 participants we also have uh, e-discovery and retention we have enhanced security and standard support as well and then enterprise will also have a lot more features so this is how the google workspace works and you can simply you know get started with six dollars there are a lot of different project managers out there or you know workspaces uh, and uh, you know managing suites out there but they are very expensive so I think the pricing is pretty reasonable for Google Workspace and it's super easy to use you don't have to go ahead and you know try something completely new we are familiar with Google and that is why I think Google Workspace is uh, one of the easiest options for you to use for your business and run a successful team and create a productive and creative workspace for yourself. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know what is Google Workspace, how you can use Google Workspace, how to get started with it, and what are the different features that you are going to be getting in your G Suite. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.